Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII. I know it's been a couple weeks since my last episode. I did have uh, psychology finals for the semester. However, those are done. So now it's the summer. We can continue on with the rest of the game. And there's still a little bit left to do. Not a lot, but still a few episodes left to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump right in today. And we're going to hop in our Ragnarok, which is here on Kektar Island. And we're going to head off to Estar. Let's see... If I turn my controller on, that would help. So we're going to head off to the air station, because there's a spell that I want to get from an enemy. Well, not really from the enemy, you'll see in a minute. Basically, uh, one of the most powerful spells for either your HP junction or your elemental defense junction in the game is full life. And as it, as it turns out, Renoa is the only one you can see right here that has full life. So, I'm not going to use it for its spell purposes, I'm going to use it because when I get a hundred of it and I junction it to status, uh, or status, elemental defense, along with life, shell, full life, and ultima, our characters will be able to absorb 90% of all elemental attacks. So that means every single elemental based attack will heal us, uh, somewhat. So we're going to worry about that. And there's an enemy that we can mug to get certain items to turn into full lives. However, if we go here, you remember way back a few episodes ago, maybe like 50 or 40 episodes ago, I mined the crap out of Elnoil cards. I got a lot of them. And that was for a very specific purpose. However, because Elnoil was a level 5 monster card... I got a lot of all level 5 cards, including this Chimera card right here. So if we go to card mod, and we go over to the Chimera card, you can see that 10 Chimera cards will turn into one region ring. I want all 6 that I can get, so those are refined into region rings. And then if I go to Life Magic Refine, let's see, where are the region rings? So Life Magic Refine, one will refine into 20 full lives. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to give... Now yeah, we'll give Renoa... Now yeah, we'll give her two. I can grab the other two later. And we'll give Squall for um, 80. With all the region rings that I have. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to need a few more. If you have no region rings or no Chimera cards, you are going to need to mug them from Toramoras. Or Toramas, I should say. So quickly, we're going to go to Renoa. I'm actually going to take the Cactar Guardian Force off of her, because that's the second part of this episode today. And it's actually the bulk of the episode. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to give her Mug. We do not need Revive anymore, so I'm going to put the Item um, Command on her. And I'm going to go over to Quistus, and I'm going to give her the Cactar Guardian Force. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust her abilities... I'm going to put a whole new set of abilities on. She's going to get HP bonus. She's going to get Vitality bonus, Magic bonus, and Spirit bonus. And I don't need Recover. Well, you know what? I will keep, I'll keep Recover on her just for now. And one thing I found out when I was doing the prep for this episode, F1 on Steam has a high speed function. So right now I'm just going to run around S-Star... I want to encounter Tyrannas. Sometimes they'll appear in pairs, sometimes alone, sometimes with imps. But let's use the hide speed function to our advantage. And you can see how Squall and crew are just running everywhere very, very quickly. I mean, I wish I would have known this earlier in the game because this would help out tremendously. And by the way, this save point right here that heals you, that is the only save point available in... A star during the entire Lunatic Pandora event. So once again, I'm just running around trying to encounter Taramas. It was a turtopod. That would be great if I was doing Angelo searching. So I'm just going to keep running around until I find the Tarama. Okay, here is the Torama I'm looking for. Luckily, Odin did not make an appearance, so I'll turn high speed off. And one thing you want to do is you just want to mug him with Renoa. Don't hit him with anyone else right now. 
Let's see, I can have uh, Quistus. She can uh, recover Squall. Okay, so I stole two region rings. That's what I want. Now, I don't want to kill him and give experience to, Qu uh, to Squall or Renoa. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to escape. I probably didn't need to actually heal Squall up there, but you know, whatever. Okay, so we got a little bit of experience. I'm not worried about that. And we got two region rings. So now we can go ahead. We can once again go to... Where is it? Life Magic Refine. All the way to the end, hopefully. Yep. Region Ring. Squall's got 100. Renoa's got 98. Quistus will start her with 20. So I only really need 5 more um, to get everyone up to 100. And just to show you, if I go to Squall, junction him up. So you can see he has Shell, Life, Ultima, and Quake. If I put full life there now, that is a nine. That... Um, green star. That means absorb. I absorb 90% of all elemental attacks. So that's pretty sweet. That's going to be awesome for uh, the fourth disc of the game because now elemental attacks can't harm us. So you want to just keep mugging Taramas. I showed you what they are. Just run around that star. You will encounter them until you get to um, 15 total region rings will give you the 300 full life that you need. So that's it for that. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to mug um, Taramas for my remaining region rings, and I'll be back once I've done that. I'm back, I've got all the um, full life spells that I need for my characters. Now for the second part of this episode, and the longer part of this episode, is we're going to level up to level 100. You really only need to do this for your main characters, I'm going to do it for all my characters. Just be known, it still is very time-intensive to do it, um, even with the high-speed function. I would recommend, if you're just playing for fun, just do your main characters in Quistus. Like I said, I'm going to level everyone up to 100. That way, every monster I fight for the rest of the game will be level 100. Um, and it's just something I want to do. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it. I'm going to show you how to, how to do it safely, how to not gain 20 levels and die... And the other reason that we're going to do it is this will help max out our character's stats. So the first person we're going to level up to 100 is Quistus. And that's because once she's leveled up to 100, we can use her Limit Break to help level up other people. There's a couple different ways you can show it. I'm going to show you two. So the first thing I need to do is I need to kill off Squall and Renoa. Alright, so Odin didn't appear. That's nice. So let's see, we'll have Squall hit himself with a trigger, and he is not dead. Okay, well, we'll have... Ow, stop it. Okay, Angelo's search, that's fine, I'm fine with Angelo's search. Hit Squall. See, Angelo's search, um, basically there's ways you can manipulate it, I don't really know how to. Oh, and I got a cottage. It's not a hungry cook pot, but it's still pretty nice. So let's see, let's kill Renoa. Let's have Squall hit himself. Okay, there goes Squall. Thank you very much. And let's hit Renoa. And if Renoa's still alive... Yep, hit yourself. Okay, so apparently it's taking her forever to kill herself. You know what I got? I got something for you, Renoa. I knew this would come in handy. Unless, oh, she probably has death on her status defense. Nope, she doesn't. Okay, so there goes Renoa. So let's run away from Mr. Turtopod. We don't care about him. So Squall and Renoa are dead. However, I want to show you something interesting. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to junction Renoa... I'm going to put Encounter None on her, and even though she's dead, it's still going to work. And also, her the Guardian Forces that she has Junction to her, they're all going to level up, so all of our Guardian Forces, except for one, will be level 100 by the time I'm done with all this. So I'm going to show you what you want to do with Quistus, and then I will show you how to do it with two, um, two party members, and then you can just use that to do three party members and anyone else you want to level up. So we're going to use this guy right here. If you don't remember, he is a fixed Elnoil encounter. And Elnoils, they are weak 
to death. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put death on Quistus's status attack. We'll just throw pain back on her defense. Pain in bio. Let's see. Pain, 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 pain. There we go. Now, one thing that's very, very important. I'm going to get in the battle with this guy, and we're. I'm going to tell you that. You're going to have to adjust this for your levels. So with the levels that my characters are at... Come on, no Odin. And Odin will show up and he will help you. So you can see, he did 11,000 damage to Quistus right there. Depending on the character, he can do up to 2,400 damage. And this is a Elnoil at... Level 48. So that's what I'm working with. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to hit him. I have death on my status attack. He is weak to death, so hopefully I will one-hit kill here. He'll use the spell, but that's not going to do anything to me. Come on, one shot. And there you go. And keep in mind, it's not a guaranteed kill every single time, but more often than not, you will kill the Elanol in one or two hits. And you can see, Quistus gets 1,200 experience from that. So we're going to get all that experience, we're going to get a couple energy crystals, which we'll have an insane amount of by the end of this. And Guardian Forces, Guardian Forces not even Junction to Quistus leveling up, so that's pretty nice. So you might be saying, why did you do that, and what's the deal with the Cactar abilities? Well, if we go to status and we look at Quistus, she has HP bonus, um, she has Vitality bonus, Magic bonus, and Spirit bonus. Now what those do is they add to your stats when you level up. So if we look at Quistus, her vitality is 100, her magic is 70, and her spirit's 87. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave the screen, we're not going to get in any random encounters, we're going to re-enter, and our wonderful Mr. Fix encounter is still there. So let's go and let's meet him again. So we'll see if we can one hit one hit strike him, or maybe Odin will be nice and show up. Okay, now you see how I didn't automatically kill him? It's not a guaranteed uh, death strike every single time, but there the second second hit took care of him. So we took care of him. 726 experience, that's enough for another level gain. So Quistus is now level 38, we got some wizard stones. Oh, we learned something. Was that for Quistus? I think it was. Let's go Junction... Quistus... Nope. Nope. Go to Magic. Yeah, so now she has... Um, status Defense times 4. Let's see, I'll just throw the 12 Sleep on there. And the Aura is really all she has. Nothing... Nothing really important. However, if we go to Status and we look at Quistus... We can see that her Vitality is 102. Her magic is 71, and her spirit's 89. So what that means is when we gained that level, um, the game gave us one vitality and one spirit. However, because I have those bonuses, I gained an extra point for vitality, a point for magic, a point for spirit, and if you look at her HP, her HP has gone up some from when we started. And I'll just do it one more round. I'll show you once again. By the way, if Quistus ever gets hit and drops to low level, use her Degenerator attack. It is a great skill, it works on this guy. So let's get involved the third time here. Maybe Odin will show up and save us the trouble. Nope. Can I one hit him again? Nope, so you see the one hit didn't work. So now I'm just going to hit him again. And there we go, two hits took care of him. By the way, this is the only method I recommend for when you are doing... when you're doing Quistus. And I always recommend doing Quistus first. Okay, she didn't gain enough experience for a level up, so I'll be back once I've killed one more Elanoil for one more level up. And there we can see she's gonna gain another level, up to level 39. Another energy crystal, very nice. A lot of experience, or a lot of AP, but we don't have a lot of abilities left to learn, unfortunately. So now if we go to status, we can see that Quistus's HP has gone up again. 
And if we go to status, her vitality's gone up one, her magic's gone up two, and her spirit's gone up one. So you want to do this till she hits level 100, because she has about 60 levels left to go. That's a 60 jump in base vitality, base magic, base spirit. Magic is your magic attack, vitality is how resistant you are to physical attacks, spirit is how resistant you are to magical attacks. So you could make a point that with our junctions there's no reason for spirit. Um, however, the way I'm going to do it is the girls are going to get HP, magic, vitality, and spirit. The guys, on the other hand, they're going to get HP, strength, vitality, and probably spirit. So that's three levels. It was super quick. So I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to gain the rest of Quistus's levels, and I'll be back when she's almost at level 100. We're back, Quistus is at level 99, you can look at her HP, 8300 HP, and if we look at status, we'll go here, her strength is at 210, um, and that's just based off her Meteor Junction, her Vitality's up to two, or 174, her magic's up to 148, and her spirit's up to 99. The reason they didn't raise up as much as they could have is I'm actually doing this off multiple save files. So not a big deal. We're going to level her up to level 100. I had to do some things off screen. And again, you might be saying, hey, you lost all your uh, spirit attacks, or all your spirits that you, spirit levels that you could have got. I'm not going to use Quistus at any point later in the game except for when I have to. Um, we ha we'll have to split into two parties on disc four, and that's the only time I will use her. Um, so I didn't really care about maxing her out as much. However, Squall, Renault, and Irvine, I will be caring about maxing out as much as possible. So Quistus hit level 100. Just to go ahead and show you once again. You can see that her stats did go up once again. And also, if you look at the Guardian Forces, you can see they've all gained a whole massive amount of levels while I've been doing this. Um, the high, high speed function works out great for this because it's just button mashing. Attack, attack, attack. Okay, now that Quistus is at level 100, now I can do this with... Squall, so we're going to give him a Phoenix Down. We're going to give him a High Potion up until his max um, health. Let's see, we're going to Junction Quistus. We're going to remove Cactar. Let's go Mac. Okay. And you see how she has HP bonus and Spirit bonus? You need to remember these bonuses are also available on... Um, other Guardian Forces, so technically if you wanted to switch your Guardian Forces around, you could do Squall on another character. I don't like messing with my Guardian Forces that much, so Squall is gonna... I'm just gonna do it one by one with Quistus as a side partner every single time. So let's see, that should get me... Yep, that got me up to 255 for Quistus. So let's see, let's do... Speed bonus. We'll do Spirit bonus. And we'll, of course, finally give her auto-haste back. Now we're going to go to Squall. We're going to Junction Cactar to him. And we're going to take all this off. HP bonus, Strength bonus, Vitality bonus, and Spirit bonus. Let's check his magic real quick. Okay, he has Pain. I want that off, and I want Death on his status attack. Put Pain back on his status defense. And now I'll show you how to do it with two, two members. And before I uh, encounter battle with this guy, we should check Squall's base. So if we go to status and we go to Squall. Okay, so his vitality is 112. His magic is 79. His spirit is 97. Magic doesn't really matter. We're not going to be boosting it that much. And his HP is 5171. And unfortunately, he's at level 55. So we're not going to be able to get as much of a stat boost with him because he's at such a high level. Let's encounter this guy. 
and let's just show you what high speed does. There. Just button mashing with high speed. Pretty simple. And so Squall's gonna gain a level. We're of course gonna gain more energy crystals. Okay, yeah, I don't care about the Guardian Forces leveling up. And if we go check out Squall, we can see that his health is now uh, 5241, his vitality is up to 113. His magic actually did go up to 80, but that's because sometimes you get... It's not just the abilities that give you the extra point. Like, sometimes every five levels you'll gain a strength point or a magic point, and that's independent of what's junctioned. And his spirit went up to 98. So that's pretty nice. So once again, we're going to do the same thing that we did with Quistus. We're going to run off here. We're going to run back here. Let's talk to this guy. Maybe I can finally get Odin to show up. You will not believe how fast Odin's... Here it is. Look at how quick it is. That's it. Done. Squall gains another level. We get more energy crystals. And that's that. Now, once again, if we look at Squall, we can see here that his vitality is up to 150, or 115, his strength is up to 156. His magic didn't go up, because like I said, it's every few levels the game will throw you a bone and level up a stat, and his spirit is up to 99. So I feel this is the best way to level up your characters. Once Squall is at a level 100, We'll bring Renoa in, and we'll do the same thing with Renoa. We'll revive her. We'll go ahead and actually right now, before I f have the chance to forget, we're going to go ahead, we're going to put death on her element, or her status defense, status attack. Uh, confuse on her defense, yeah, we'll leave it there. And where is pain? Pain, 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 pain. There it is. And we'll put pain on her defense. So once Squall's at level 100, we're going to go ahead, we're going to bring Renoa into the party, and once again, we'll just use high speed, as you see, running back and forth to encounter this gentleman right here with fixed Elnoil encounters. Elnoil encounters. However, there is another way, I'm going to show you that. I prefer this method that I'm showing you right here. It's definitely the quickest, I think, especially with high speed. So let me just go ahead and I'll show you the other method, just in case you're curious. Here we are at the island closest to hell, off the Galbanian coast. We can see Squall, he's right at level 55. So I haven't done all the leveling up with Squall, this is just to show you another method you can choose to do. And we can see that Quistus is at low HP. We're going to use her Limit Break to take care of enemies here. So real quickly, I'll take high speed off, because there's sometimes you can have issues with control when a high speed's on. And let's see here. Oh, one second. It probably wouldn't help if I took Encounter None off for Noah. So let's just run around here. This method is more dangerous. There's more of a possible dying and losing all your uh, levels. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to use Quistus' Blue Magic Degenerator. Thank you for healing us. And if you have seizures, look away. And there we go, we got a nice experience, we actually gained two levels with Red Dragons, and we got some Fury Fragments. So, you can do this method if you want, I'll show you one more time. Let's run around. However, the experience that you get, it can be even less than you get from the Elnoil encounters, so I don't find it worth it. Like, for instance, one Grendel right here, this dude's gonna give me about 300 experience, even though he's level 100. Yep, hit us with breath. And see you later. So like I said, this is another method you can use. However, I don't find it worthwhile. I think the best method is just to keep with the fixed Elnoil encounters in Estar. And it has the highest likelihood of success. 
because you can see here we only got 500 experience from the Grendel. In my opinion, not worth it, because if you remember when I showed you how to take care of a Marlboro beforehand, they gave us like 3,000 experience. I don't know if it has to do with Quistus being level 100 or if it has to do with completing the Deep Sea Research Center. Now they only give it off about 1,000 experience, so there's no real draw. If they still gave out 3,000 experience, it would be the best option. And the only enemies around here that really drop enough experience to make it worth it are the Ruby Dragons, which you saw one of, the Marlboros, which I've shown you guys before, and the uh, Hexa Dragons. I'll see. I'll try one more to see if I can show you a Hexa Dragon, and if I don't encounter encounter one, I'll just see you guys when I'm close to being done. Here we are, I have my main party for the rest of the game. We're standing in front of Mr. Fixed Encounter here. However, if we go to the screen, we can see Renoa level 100, Squall level 100, Irvine level 100, everyone level 100. Now if we look at status, we can see Renoa has 99, 99 HP. She's almost got max vitality, her magic and spirit are very high, and her strength is high, but that's just without, um, that's without me junctioning any strength bonuses to her um, stats, and we will do that shortly. You can see Squall, his vitality is high, his spirit's high, and his strength is maxed at 255. And Irvine, whose strength is high, his vitality could be higher, his magic is pretty high, and his spirit is high. So that just goes to show you, and we can go on, you can see that Zell's base stats, a base strength of 136, a base vitality of 97, with nothing junctioned, is insane. Quistus, of course, has the huge magic bonus. And Selfie has the Spirit, Magic, and Vitality bonus. Yeah, apparently I screwed up when I was running through this before. I never gave Quistus the Spirit bonus. Oh well, not a big deal. So this is um, a great method, level up, leveling up your characters and maxing out some stats. I'm going to show you another way to max stats next episode, because I don't want to go through it this episode, uh, using the Devour command. I might make it just kind of a mini-episode, show you who to devour and what stats to raise. Because if we look at Renoa, I can get her vitality up, and I can probably get her strength up using items. But maybe I want to raise her spirit. And for Squall, maybe I want to get his vitality up, but I think I have a way around that. And maybe I want to get his spirit up. So there's ways to do it, whether or not you want to do it. That's up to you, but that's for another episode. What I'm going to show you, if you look at my uh, gill right now, you can see it's definitely increased a lot since my last episode or my last uh, part of the video, I should say. The way to do that is I'm going to show you. You have an ability here, Call Shop. Let's call the Estar Shop. And we're going to sell them 100 Mega Potions. And you can see that 100 Mega Potions sells for 750,000 gil. And I already have 100 tents and cottages. So what we're going to do is I believe it's Forbidden Medicine Refine? No, not Tool Refine. Or maybe it's just Life Medicine Refine. Nope. Give me one second while I figure out what it is. Aha, here it is. Recovery Medicine Refine. So 100 tenths, 4 will, will refine into 1 Mega Potion. 25 Mega Potions. Two cottages will refine into one mega potion. 75 mega potions. Go back to ability. Go to call shop. Go to the shop. We can sell 75 mega potions for almost 600,000 gil. So now that we've done that, we're gonna buy 100 tents. And where are cottages? I know they're here, I always look past them. Oh, I forgot where cottages are. Once again, bear with me. That's where cottages are. The S-Star shop with the exclamation points is where you can buy cottages. So where are you, cottage? There we go. So buy a hundred of those. And go back to, um, where is it? Where is Recover Medicine Refine? And once again, just repeat the process. 
75. Go to call shop. Test our shop. Actually, we can buy. So let's buy our tents back. Let's buy our cottages back. And let's sell our mega potions. So you can see how much money we've actually gotten. We've gone from 2 million to like 3.5 million in a matter of minutes. So if you need money, if you're trying to go for the 99 million max money in the game, and it is an achievement on Steam, this is probably the quickest method. It still is going to take a really long time, but if for some reason you find you need money, this is a way to get money later in the game. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I don't need the money, and I don't really care about the uh, achievement, so I'm going to buy. Or I'm going to refine, get 75... Mega Potions. Okay, let's go to S-Star Shop again. Let's buy tents. 100 tents. Let's go to Recover Medicine and Refine. Turn those tents into Mega Potions. Go back to Call Shop. Go to the shop. And buy myself... 100 tents, which I won't need, and 100 cottages, which I won't need, but I don't care. And there, I have 100 of each now. Like I said, I don't care about going for that achievement, at least not right now. I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to sort. There we go. So just a couple um, quick tips I want to leave you with. Using the method I showed you in Estar on how to level up, I still recommend going out to that save point and saving every 20 levels or so. Just to make sure in case something goes wrong, in case you just can't get that death hit off on them. So, let's see. Anything else? No, that's going to be it. So I hope this episode helped you. And once again, the reason that we decided to level up to 100 is we're going to be encountering level 100 enemies um, in the game, and this just puts us on equal footing, and it lets us really raise our character stats. Next episode, I'm going to show you the Devour trick, and that might be its own little mini-episode, and if, the, if it is just a mini-episode, I'll probably continue on with the game for the next episode. So guys, we are getting close, um, just keep that in mind, episodes should be coming more frequently now, thanks for being patient, thanks for watching, if you have any questions, let me know, if you like the video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.